A well-placed tee shot avoiding trees and out of bounds to the right side of the hole is a must. This will leave a short mid-iron club selection for the second shot that will be challenged by the green side bunker protecting the left side of the green. This green has great pin placement options including back left and a small shelf to the right side of the green. Hole number one offers a great opportunity to get off to a fast start. With tee boxes on both the left and right side of the first green, hole number two can play as a left to right tee shot or a slight right to left shape tee shot. Either way, the fairway bunkers guarding both sides are very much in play off of the tee. The second shot will be challenged by the front left bunker next to this two-tiered putting surface. Three putts are plentiful if not on the same tier as the cup. This severe dogleg right par 5 plays well over 500 yards from all three sets of men's tees. The best play for the tee shot is a fade off of the fairway bunker. If you find yourself in the trees to the right of the fairway, avoid a big number by choosing to play out to the fairway without being greedy. Attempting to gain extra yardage and playing a low percentage shot through the trees can easily lead to a double bogey or higher. Favor the left side of the fairway for this second shot to allow for the best angle into the green on the approach. Bunkers front right and behind the center of the green require a well-placed third shot if birdie or a two-putt par is to be made. Subtle slopes on this green will challenge even the shortest of putts. Hole number four is a dogleg right par four, which ranks as the second most difficult hole on the course. The tee shot should be played to the left of the fairway bunker, which protects the entire right side of the landing area. Players attempting to cut the corner must combine length and accuracy for a successful landing while avoiding the trees to the right as well as the fairway bunker. The safe play off of the tee will leave most players with a long iron or hybrid into a small putting surface. Hitting the screen in two requires two very well struck golf shots. The front left green side bunker will likely catch any shots that are not solidly struck. The green slopes from back to front with plenty of challenging pin positions that add to this hole's difficulty. Par is a good score on this lengthy par four. The first of four par threes, number five might be the toughest of the short holes to make a par or lower. This hole plays up to 205 yards from the back tees. Trees guarding the right side of the hole and a large bunker on the left side of the green demand a straight ball off of the tee. A large slope separates the smaller front portion of this green from the larger back section of the putting surface. Tee shots ending up on the same level as the pin location will be required if a birdie is in order. A long par 5 with a generous fairway off of the tee allows for players to let the shaft out of the driver. The second shot requires both length and accuracy as a large tree in the center of the fairway is sure to get your attention. Players have the option to play around either side of the tree, which sits 125 yards from the green, with the left side being slightly more generous and the more popular choice. Once successfully navigating around the tree, your approach shot is challenged by a large greenside bunker to the right side of the putting surface. Birdies are possible if you can successfully avoid interference by the large tree on the second and third shot. The seventh hole is a beautifully shaped par four that works from right to left. Working the ball off of the fairway bunker lurking on the right side will allow for extra roll and a shorter approach shot. The approach is challenged by the first of many water hazards at Cedar Point. Those who play more boldly will challenge the greenside pond and hopefully open the door to a great birdie chance. This long but narrow green is often missed to the right side as players do their best to avoid the pond to the left. Be sure to take a look at your putts from both sides as this green can leave even the best putters scratching their heads. Hole number eight is a solid short par four. A well-placed fairway bunker located just left of center forces the player to consider accuracy rather than distance for this tee shot. Longer players will likely choose a hybrid or fairway wood to stay short of the steep-faced fairway bunker. An uphill approach shot to this elevated green complex is made even more difficult by three large bunkers surrounding the putting surface. Accuracy with your short to mid iron approach shot is a must if birdie is going to be made. The view off of the ninth tee box offers up a signature low country scenery including the Nansman River and the Governor Godwin Bridge. This uphill par three typically requires an extra club due to the winds coming off of the river. A large bunker protecting the front left portion of the screen is sure to get your attention. The bailout to the right leaves players with a most difficult up and down. Cedar Point's number one handicap hole kicks off the back nine and a three hole stretch that can absolutely ruin a good score. A stand of trees to the right side of the tee box demands a left to right tee shot if you are to hit the fairway off the tee. 
Maximum length off of the tee will be crucial for a par or better to be a reality. Hybrids and long irons for second shots are the norm on this lengthy par 4. Avoiding the oversized bunker on the front left side of the green is a must. Any misses to the right side of the green will leave a short pitch or chip to this large putting surface, and a realistic chance to save par. One of the most visually intimidating par 4s you will ever play awaits at the 11. A well-placed tee shot, avoiding the fairway bunker on the right, will leave a 150-yard approach shot. A stunning downhill view of the green complex is highlighted by a large pond to the right of the putting surface. Bailing out left of the green is the popular choice for those looking to avoid the watery grave to the right side of this long and narrow putting green. A short but demanding downhill par 3 featuring a kidney-shaped green will test the accuracy of your mid-irons. Water short and left demands a well-struck iron shot. Pin placements are plentiful, with the back left location being only steps away from the bulkhead. Don't be fooled by a front and center pin as it just may be the most difficult location on the green. The 13th does not provide any let up after the most difficult three hole stretch, including holes 10 through 12. A well shaped tee shot, working from right to left, will shorten the approach. Avoiding the trees off of the left side of the tee box is a must. Once in the fairway, be sure to consider taking an extra club to safely carry the front right greenside bunker. On the putting surface, you can be aggressive as this flat green allows for a good chance to one putt. The first par 5 on the back side provides a much needed reprieve and a birdie opportunity. Finding the fairway off of the tee allows the player to decide to either be aggressive and attempt to fly over the bunker or lay up short of the bunker for the second shot. Laying up short will leave a 140 yard third shot to a two tiered putting surface, virtually assuring par or higher on the scorecard. The reward for clearing the steep faced cross bunker, which lies 100 yards from the green, will be a short flip wedge and a much better chance to leave yourself a birdie opportunity. The two tiered green requires an accurate approach shot if birdie is going to be a reality. The par 4 15th requires both an accurate tee shot as well as a solidly struck approach shot. Left center is the landing area of choice on this narrow fairway. A large tree overhanging the right side of the fairway must be avoided to allow for a good chance to hit this green in regulation. Select your club for this approach shot carefully. A slight uphill climb to this green tends to call for an extra club than what you might think. The front left bunker is deceivingly placed 10 to 15 yards short of the putting surface. This green complex runs left to right as you continue toward the back half of the green. The fourth and final par 3 can play as long as 210 yards from the back tee box. One of the largest bunkers on the course is sure to swallow up any shots that are not solidly struck. This oversized bunker hides the left half of the putting surface as you stand on the tee box, making what is a large green from left to right appear much smaller than its actual size. Proper club selection is crucial to hitting this green off of the tee. The shortest of the par fives, number 17, allows for the player to challenge the fairway and greenside bunkers in an effort to place a red number on the scorecard. Trees and water come into play for any tee shots heading to the right. Two solid shots will give the long hitter a chance to putt for eagle, but not without taking some serious risk. The risk is potentially finding yourself in a steep faced bunker 230 yards from the green with no chance to leave yourself a short approach shot. There are three greenside bunkers waiting to accept any approach shot that is not perfectly placed. This small putting surface requires an accurate approach. The home hole finishes the round with a dog leg from right to left. This par 4 plays downhill off of the tee to a very well protected green. Finding the fairway off of the tee is a must if you are to finish with a par or better. Trees line both sides of this fairway and a greenside pond awaits to challenge the approach shot. A large bunker short and right of the green will be sure to catch any shots that come up short. Be sure to enjoy the panoramic view of the Nansman River as you make your way down this fairway and head toward the green. Par is almost always a good score on this difficult closing hole.